Because you see, one of the things that keeps the enemy away from the church is when the firewall of prayer is in place. When, when there is no prayer, when there is no prayer, it gives the enemy what? The maximum opportunity to invade a church and then wreak havoc in the midst of the people. But I found also that those who pray, the person that prays, finds it very difficult to sin. Those that pray, and they pray a lot, pray sincerely, they find it, they, it, it's difficult to sin when you are a praying person. But it is very easy to fall when you don't pray. You know, I want to say, if, if we maintain our prayer life and our word life, okay, we're not going to be sinning. Mm. When, when you look at some men in history, and not pointing any fingers, you know, we pray for restoration, studying the history of the church, reformers, and, and, and different generations. A lot of the men that fell into sin, at some point their prayer life dropped off, or their word life dropped off, and they just started doing it out of memory. And they, could, they could still quote the scriptures, but there was no substance or power of life behind them.